flow, let me see something like try and see a shake. Legs open with the ass dropping like try and see it late. Just don't go from blow, yo, it's lit like what? Swill on the way. No, I ain't come to play, no way. No, I ain't come to play. G5, I've been shooting niggas since 640 on the hip, 30 in the clip. Shots fired, close niggas got a dip. First 48, first 46. Have your baby moms gobbling the dick. Millie, he be bugging, throwing on the blitz. Don't fuck with Zay Money, nigga, that's the rip. Don't make me sit KK on niggas strip. Should be pulling up in the goat. Stop niggas close, turn them to a roast. I don't gotta brag, let my money boast. I'm the realest nigga on the East Coast. All these old rapper niggas, they was snitching, they was broke. They ain't have a pot to piss in. I was still getting money in prison. They was on the phone with their moms bitches. Came home, I was back in the kitchen. Like no nigga, you better listen. I got an arm that shit stay whipping. The coke and So, I'm just going to set sort of the timeline. Now, you're not around Takashi during this time, but things start happening in, you know, with Takashi. In uh, 2017, uh, in November, they filmed the Gummo video. Uh -huh. And in that video, there's just tons and tons of bloods. Everyone's, you know, waving their rags. Uh, Seiko. Welcome home, Food Banger. Shout out to Food Banger. Shout out to all the Billies. Free Shoddy. <clears throat> free Melly. Free Newt. Free all the niggas. Free all, free all the Billies. Free all the real right Billies. I'm reacting off a of Foo Banger um, Vlad TV interview. And, and I want to actually get props because niggas always bashing the homies. The homies is always bashing the homies. You got to understand. A lot, of, a lot of bloods in New York is disgruntled with each other. Because a lot of niggas got done dirty. A lot of niggas got positions taken. A lot of niggas got just they heartbroken in this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm a nigga like, I was in this shit, but I didn't, like, I ain't gonna say I ain't take shit serious, though. But you, you gotta know what you signing up for. You know what niggas is. You know what type of niggas niggas is. You, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. I just, I just, I don't, I don't feel no type of way about what happened. Like, I had some disagreements with Live Brim. We had some. I st it is what it is, bro. Like I don't, I don't be feeling the hatred that these niggas be having toward this shit. Like I just feel like men is men. Niggas make they they own decisions, and that's what it is, bro. You deal with the consequences, and that's it, man. This niggas be like really hating this shit, like, and like you see it in their eyes, like. But you love this shit at the same time. It's it's like a bitch that do you filthy, right? But you keep going back to her type shit. Like, y'all niggas be mad weird to me, bro. Like, if you was blood, nigga, you always blood. Whether you still banging or not. Yeah, we... Niggas is old. You should not be still gang banging at a certain age. But you still blood. That shit is in your heart. That shit is gonna always be what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whether NYB, whether... Whether LA sets, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. Nigga, you grew up that shit. That shit is that shit is what's in you. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Food Banger, man. Shout out to all the Billies, man. Niggas, the, the Billies was moving real grimy. Billy's was mo one of the most grimiest sets in New York City. I out of the niggas I knew. You feel me? Billy's was like, I ain't, I, I don't want to say dirty bloods, but when niggas talk about dirty bloods, bro, they talk about the Billy's, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Them niggas was, them niggas was always grimy, niggas always rob robbery, niggas will rob you. You know what I'm saying? Like even the clean niggas are still dirty. Like look at Jim, Jim. He been getting money for what? Since 2003, the niggas still look filthy. With chains and all that still look dirty. Like, nine trade niggas have a dirty look, and it's not no disrespect to them. When I say dirty, I don't mean like bums. I just mean that that dirty, grimy, gritty look that they, they got the gritty disposition. You know, each, 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 each set in New York got something they known for. The Billies are known for being them niggas is putting in that work. The old timers that was Billy, they, was, they paid the way. It's true. You know what I'm saying? They was putting in pain, so they come from that pain era. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. You know what I mean? So it's not no disrespect when I say that. But when people was talking about dirty bloods, they was talking about non trade niggas. Um, Mac Ball is our pretty boy niggas that get money. Sex money murder niggas was flea niggas that got money. You know what I'm saying? Put in pain, still get money. Bronx niggas. Like, you feel me? Type shit. Like, then the Mac Ballers is like a new, the new version of, of, of sex money murder. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the hounds. They a little bit of both. They put in pain. They like the billies. Then you got some hounds that's that's fly because the hounds are so big. You know what I mean? So you got you got mad different 
you got mad different, like, you know what I mean? Factions of that shit. You know what I mean? That nigga lied and spread his shit out all over all over the place. So this them niggas can just like the Mac Ballers too, them niggas can make their own nation. But I say that just to say like, you know, why like how I'm reacting to this shit right now, like the true banger shit. He, who's your cousin, he's actually in that video. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. And I think I think Shotty's in that video as well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Shotty, yeah, yeah, Shotty, yeah, my yeah, nigga. In that video, yep. Okay. Now, during that time, you haven't met Takashi yet, but did you know about that video and everything? Yeah, that's a fact. You know, the whole world know about that. <laughs> Facts. Okay. From that point, Facts. what was your take on the Takashi whole world knew and, and about the that. imagery that he was portraying? So look, right? See, Fu Banger, when he say that, he said the whole world knew about that. See, this is this. I want to give the Bloods props, right? Everybody always bashing the homies, right? You know what I'm saying? But I'm giving. I'm gonna give the homies props on this. I'll give props for props is due. You know what I'm saying? My boy said everybody know about that. You know why? Because that was a monumental moment in blood history. You know what I'm saying? It was a monumental moment in blood history, regardless of how bad it went. It's the feeling that niggas got. I said it in, the, in my last video about the, the, the industry, about hip hop, of seeing niggas come up. Like when you a part of something, I watch Cardi come up. That shit is the best feeling in the world to see your homies or your homies eating. You know what I'm saying? Not having to do crazy shit, even though the homies gonna do crazy shit regardless, because homies are the homies. But to see your niggas happy, to see your niggas popping bottles, like Bloods wasn't always on that type of time. Like Bloods is known for being dirty in New York, bro. Like we was outside of the getting money shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been getting money my whole life. When I was getting bread, I was one of the only niggas out here getting to this chicken. You feel me? That was homie like that. Besides the homies that was going up. Schenectady and niggas was going on all of them up upstate New York shits that I hate. I will never hustle in none of them, none of them crusty spots. No disrespect to nobody. If you get money, you get money, but it ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? I always had a block in New York. I didn't have to go to no OT. I didn't start going to OT to my later years until to to this shit just got so washed up that it was like, it's, there's no need. There's nothing but, but police and jail and indictments out here. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't a lot of homies getting bread back then. There was a lot of homies just putting in work. Niggas are paying homies to put in work, cut niggas, this, that, and the third. I had plenty of blocks. I had the homies come through, sweep niggas up if I needed to get a nigga off the block. Or if it was a wall with, with niggas on the block, I had the homies come through, sweep shit up. Like, it just it just was that for me. But that's the time niggas was on. But this is this is the shit I love. I love to see the homies happy. I love I love these type of moments. Now, even though the Takashi shit went bad, I can imagine how fool and them felt. You know what I mean? Melly and them niggas to, to come from nothing. Even though Melly was fucking with Jim, I, I bet you he's seen more success with the Takashi shit and more bread and more notoriety with the Takashi shit than he ever seen with the Jim shit. And that's just being real, my nigga. You feel me? Hold on for a minute. Shit, it was it was kind of exciting. You know what I'm saying? To see him as a colorful hair, all that crazy shit. It was it was it was exciting at the at the you know during that time. Yeah. It was something different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. The homies well, needed needed that. I bro. interviewed Seiko Billy and Billy Otto about this, and mm -hmm. they said that right after that video, Takashi started saying blood all the time, and mm -hmm. you know, more or less started, you know, claiming nine tray. Mm -hmm. After that video, it seemed like Takashi considered himself a blood because that's when you seem to hear him say blood every other word and everything yeah. else like that. Is that accurate? Yeah, he started. Yeah, he started transforming like. He started saying it, cause before he still call us like yo. He wouldn't say the word blood like he'll we'd be around us, but he wouldn't be like yo yo blood. He'd be like yo 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 Seiko, but yo Seiko turned him yo blood. <laughs> so yeah, he started making that that transformation, and it was it was it, it was weird, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't just you don't just get to say that like that that easy, you know what I'm saying? Although he was never initiated, never put in any work or whatever True. else. So when you saw this rainbow haired kid suddenly rap this very serious vibe with the rainbow haired kid like bro like bro listen man being different is what get is what got niggas where they needed to get like niggas keep, keep trying to diss that boy like that nigga made more money than a lot of artists bro and that nigga was independent that nigga was never signed with no label keep that in mind 
Takashi was never signed with no labels. The homies pioneered that nigga. If it wasn't for the homies, that shit would have never went where it was supposed to go. Gummo made niggas. The Bloods made Takashi. It made this hip hop shit for a lot of years, and niggas don't be giving the homies they props. You feel me? Because when shit go bad, then you blame everything on the homies. But when the money's being made, everything is a go. You feel me? So nah, nah. This is this is the time where I'ma defend. I'ma defend my brothers. Cause yeah, I get on niggas when niggas do bullshit. We all do. We all do. But this is a time where you gotta defend your brothers, my nigga. Because when that money was being made, nigga, everybody was happy. Everybody was running around condoning that shit. Before that, niggas was like, oh, what niggas is doing? What niggas is doing? Niggas never believe it until something is done. That's what's wrong with niggas. So salute the food banger. Salute to all of them niggas. And yeah, Takashi was blood. And he, he had a right to claim blood. You know why? Because he was feeding niggas' families. So yeah, nigga, you blood. You don't got to put in no work. You ain't got to do none of that, nigga. You doing what a lot of niggas can't do. A lot of niggas couldn't feed their own family. So you got this little nigga coming in feeding the set. Your blood, nigga. Your trend, your whatever. Whatever's around. And you feeding niggas and you riding with niggas, nigga, that's what you is. Because that's how it is in L.A. This New York shit, this is the only shit I don't really like about this shit, bro. And that's why I respect Sex Money Murder so much, bro. Because you got to be from certain hoods to be claiming a certain thing, bro. If you from a hood, that's your hood. It ain't no sack, no none of that. If that's your hood, that's where you from. If you from motherfucking 183rd and Prospect, my nigga, you, you a fucking trendy or you a fucking OT3, nigga. You a crip. That's OT3, movers, 280s, or you fucking trend. If you from Sex Money Murder, you're trend. You understand what I'm saying? Like, these, it sets that go with go with hoods. The New York shit be so fucked up because everybody be claiming shit all over the place. And it becomes like a team. Like, niggas just on the bad. You got niggas, you don't know from, from Adam. You understand what I'm saying? So, when you got niggas like that, and you got niggas that's riding with the set, and niggas that's feeding the set and got the set, giving the set a look, damn motherfucking right, he throwing it up. Nigga, ain't nothing wrong with that. You got a whole bunch of silly niggas out here that never did nothing for nobody throwing shit up. So to me, Takashi was non trade He was non trade bro. He was feeding the homies, and niggas was fucking happy, my nigga. So Vlad with all that, yo, the, 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 the rainbow hair kid. And that nigga music was hard. It sound like Billy shit. That, 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 that that shit was shoddy in the in the beginning. What's the name of that shit? The first the first track on his first album, nigga. That shit is that should be hard forever. That's one of the hardest tracks, if not the hardest track ever made, nigga. That Billy shit. That's the hardest New York track ever made, nigga. Ain't nothing. Put play anything next to that. You ain't gonna get the feel that you get from that. Not even Fifty Cent. What up, blood? What up, cause? It's not harder than that. If you if you think I'm tripping and you think I'm lying. Go put, go play What Up Blood, then play Billy. Put it plain, blood. Uh, we we make niggas bleed, blood. Shoddy on that? Nigga, that shit was so New York, bro. If Takashi would have never told, nigga, that song would have been a motherfucking anthem for, for years to come, nigga. Trust me, play that, play that 50, What Up Blood, and play Takashi Billy, nigga. Tell me which song is harder. And the thing, what you that think? That. <sighs> <sighs> I ain't really looked too deep into it because whoever, whatever, you know, whoever he was with, it, that was on them. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really question whoever no brought him to, to the forefront. It. I ain't question it. So, you know, no need it, to it question was it. what it was. Okay. And then after that, Takashi signs a, a major label deal with 10K. And then Shadi pretty much becomes his manager. Mm -hmm. Shadi, now, Shadi, my nigga. right around the beginning Shadi, of April, that's when you met Takashi. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. My yeah, son Tekashi, shit go and, off. and when I say the beginning of April, April 2018, that's when you met him. Uh -huh. Okay, so how did you end up actually meeting him? Oh, I think one night they was doing a show somewhere and I just pulled up and it just was on from there. Okay, and what'd you think of when you first met him? No, nah, he was cool, a young kid doing his thing. I was, you know, I, I, I respected it. Okay, but by this time, there's a whole lot of beef that he had been involved in. Uh, Trippy Red, uh, YG. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, yeah. 
you know, Chief Keef, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So what was your take on all the beefs that he was getting into? Because a lot of this shit was really unnecessary, if you ask me. Yeah, but a lot of that shit was entertain entertainment, man. That wasn't no real beef, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't look at it as it was salute beef. The, that was all entertain entertainment shit, man. entertainment salute, shit, man. Salute the, salute the fool banger for saying that, bro. Because a lot of niggas got to understand, bro, this shit, is, this shit is still an industry. At the end of the day, like, everything is not what you think it is. You understand what I'm saying? It's the same thing like what I was telling niggas on, on the first couple of the uploads that I did on the, on this on this new go around, right? I'm telling niggas about my case and shit. I'm telling niggas like, nigga, I was feeding niggas the information that I wanted niggas to know. Nobody really knew about what's going on with my shit because what I look like putting my business out, entertainment is for entertainment, bro, and certain things is for the streets and certain things that's real is just real shit, bro. There's no need to be, there's no, there's no need to, for shit to be said, like, but at the time, it gotta be played how it's played, you know what I'm saying? Not that nigga be running around out here faking beef with nobody and none of that, you know what I mean? But if it is real, you don't want niggas, you don't want to be going on here talking about it's real, so when you get indicted, you go to court, they put your, your videos up, and you talking some, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, bro, like, damn, that should look tight as fuck this thing. Parking, bro. Hold on for a minute. Bro. Let me let me pull my. Why you? Why, bro? Why you on me like that, gang? Nah, this shit tight, gang. I ain't getting in that shit. Damn, man. Type of this bullshit, New York shit, man. But chill, man. Like you feel me? Like certain things is entertainment, but them niggas was them niggas was in a big time. They had to play how they had to play it because whatever was making the numbers. You remember what Takashi was doing on the internet, bro? He had he had mastered this shit. So it was what it was, like. But certain things was real. And you end up seeing that because niggas got indicted. But every part of the game, like, niggas not going to give you every part of the game, bro. Feel me? You got to just see for yourself, nigga. Like, if you was dead, shots was fired, nigga. Shots was fired. You know it's real. You feel me? Other things, it might not be real, but you might have... Thought you seen something you ain't seen, my nigga. It be like that with this game shit. You gotta be there. Okay. That's why I say niggas that just be talking. Then after you met him, there started to be some sort of back and forth with Casanova. Yeah, free free Casanova. Free, Cas free Casanova. I did one of his early interviews, man. Mm -hmm. Good dude. Definitely sad what what ended up happening to him. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what exactly was that beef about? Because it's a little bit hazy. If who bangers a gangster, bro? I don't know that nigga. I never met that nigga in my life, but that nigga's a K carrying it like a G right now. Them niggas had beef. That nigga said free Casanova. Free, free the ops too, nigga. Because, nigga, we blood. Like, we all blood at, at the end of the day, Brody. Like, you feel me? Like, free that nigga. Free that man. Like, you feel me? Because you, you want your... Even if niggas is the ops, you want niggas to be free so you can handle it on the street, bro. Niggas ain't wishing jail on nobody. It's not with some gel on nobody. I, I salute you, Foo Banger, for that. I salute you for that, my nigga. You a gangster for real. A lot of non trade niggas is gangsters, bro. That shit I said earlier, don't get that shit twisted, that dirty blood shit. Them niggas is gangsters, though, bro. Like, straight up. The Billy niggas be gangsters, bro. Like, them, especially the... I don't know about these new niggas, because they... I don't know a lot. Like, the, the young niggas now that I be with, niggas is trendy. Niggas is hounds. Niggas is... You know what I mean? Eight. I don't, I don't really know a lot of the young non trade Non trade is like an older set. But the old school niggas, bro, like, my age and better, niggas is gangsters, bro. Niggas is on it. Nigga, you, you, you feel uncomfortable in the spot. Mad Billy's in the spot, bro. Especially in Brooklyn, my nigga. That Brooklyn Billy shit is different. I'm going to leave that at that, bro. Before before the Bronx was on the shit that we on, like that Billy shit, and I used to be out there. Niggas would tell you it's a different energy out there with the Billy's and BK. And Casanova had a song. There's a lyric that may have been about Takashi, and Takashi responded, and then it started sort of an online back and forth. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know what it was about. I just know that it was some petty shit. Yeah, right. I don't know exactly what it was about, but I know it was some 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 dumb shit. Probably some social media shit. Right. So then, on April 21st, 2018, uh, Adrian Broder had a fight. Uh, at the Barclays Center. Yeah. And you were with Takashi and a whole bunch of other people. Uh huh. Why did you decide to go with Takashi that night? Shit, that that was my my first time in the Barclays Center. You know what I'm saying? Then we was we was walking Adrian Bonner in the ring, so that was kind of big for you know what I'm saying. That was kind of big, but it never happened. <laughs> see, see, now look at that, bro. See what I'm saying? The homies was experienced. 
the homies got experiences, bro. Like you can't like even if a situation went wrong, bro. These is these is stories like niggas could tell their kids, bro. Like for all the gang banging, it's shit like this that that make it all worth it, bro. You feel me? Like yo, I, I actually got the walk Adrian Burner out. Like bro, it's shit like that. This is the shit I be wishing for the homies. Like I hate that it gotta go bad, but that's the lifestyle that we live. You know what I'm saying? When we don't handle shit the right way and we don't really know a lot, but fuck it, the experience is the experience, my nigga. You know what I mean? And this is he keeping it. He keeping it contained. He just saying that that shit genuine, bro. That shit genuine. He like, yo, man, it was just a good experience. Now, first time I'm in the Barclays and you doing something big. That's how a lot of the that's how a lot of the hats felt about with Cardi. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was fucked up. Like the way, like a lot, a lot of niggas is mad at Star Brim. A lot of hats is mad at Star Brim because the way Star was carrying niggas. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Star did a lot for the hood. Star did a lot for kids in the hood. Star did a Cardi. You know how many coat drives and Marlboro projects. You know how many um shit they gave away. You know how many basketball games Star sponsored. Like bro, like they did things for the hood. The homies is not just fucked up niggas running around with this gang. Like this shit, you gotta. I want to give niggas flowers on the good things they did too, bro. Cause y'all don't see that. Like that's why I be saying a lot of niggas ain't there. When niggas ain't there, they say anything. You feel me? But you got to be there, bro. You got to be there, bro. If you wasn't never there, you know what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of these blogger niggas, they was locked up. So they 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 going through the jail shit. A lot of the jail niggas is disgruntled, bro. Like, you feel me? You can't really listen to these niggas, bro, because these niggas wasn't in the town like that, bro. When they talking about people that was in the town and you talking Cardi B, you talking about Takashi, Fu, Fu Banger was there. He was there. He was putting it in. So he got to, when he talk, I... I understand that shit, and it, and it comes off the way it need to come off. But a lot of these other niggas there, they wasn't there. They hating. Star did a lot of shit for the hood. Cardi did a lot of shit for the hood. Cardi did a lot of shit for the Bronx. Period, bro. Period. Takashi was running around giving niggas money. He did a lot of shit for non-trade, and he did a lot of shit across the country, Chicago, giving money. You can't negate shit like that, bro. You can't not look at shit like that, bro. You can't, bro. You got to look at the full spectrum. When I, when I judge off niggas, and I give an opinion, I'm giving it off the full spectrum. Not off of my hatred to niggas. Like I nigga, I, I don't I don't fuck with Live Brim. I don't like Live Brim, my nigga. But I give Live Brim his props where his props is due. It's out of respect, bro. I don't gotta like that nigga, but I respect him. And that's what being a gangster's about, bro. You you respect your ops too for doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? You, you'll never be friends with these niggas, but you got to give a man respect where his respect is due, bro. And that's what a lot of y'all niggas don't. A lot of y'all niggas just talking, bro. Y'all mad because y'all wasn't there. Y'all not looked at like that. Y'all want to talk about jail shit and what y'all did there. Nobody care about that shit, bro. Niggas made a difference out here in these streets. And in a, in, a, in a small period of time between, between when I came home in the feds, I came home 2012 from the feds, bro. Between that time and all the way up to Bronx drill time, so up to now, niggas been, I've been watching niggas make history with this blood shit. And niggas still not, and niggas still hating. Doing, niggas is doing what they never did before. Breaking barriers, bro. And I was there for all of it. I was there for all of it. I seen that. I was there for K-Flock. I'm there for Cardi. I was there for Takashi. I was there when Shadi and, and, and Ro used to come up and check Star on and, and, and angels i was there bro so when i speak nigga i'm speaking from being there i'm not speaking off no hate i ain't speaking off of none of that bro like you feel me like niggas be talking off a of hatred watch a lot of these niggas watch a lot of these niggas podcasts and a lot of these niggas a lot of these niggas pages you see the hate in their eyes they, and y'all niggas jack that if you jack that you you a hater too you supposed to salute i got behind star and cardi and cardi didn't know me like that i knew star but I was behind it because those the sisters and I see what they trying to do. And I'm looking at it as a spectrum for everybody. The same with K-Flock and them. The, I'm looking at it as a spectrum for the block, nigga. My little nigga's about to get off the block. I don't care about what they talking about, what they doing. Get It's about holding your family down, bro. Holding your family down, bro. And that's the part that niggas lost, bro. Niggas is hating too much and too much, too much rah-rah, bro. Too much. 
yo, niggas doing this. Like, bro, if a nigga doing this thing, salute, man. Salute to all these niggas. Salute to Kimi Baller. You run around with Star. My sister's a bad bitch, bro. You you have the, if you a stand-up nigga like that to be with her, nigga, I salute you, bro. You feel me? Any nigga fuck around with Cardi, Rem, Remy LaPerla, that's the sis. If, nigga, anybody running around with the real rights, bro, I respect it. And they respect you, I respect you. I don't got no hatred towards niggas, my nigga. I was never hating, nigga. I got money my whole life on these streets. Nobody did nothing to me. And I'm not the most gangster nigga in the world. I'm a real nigga. I don't run around here doing slimy shit. A lot of niggas got their face blown off and, and they got done dirty and they so disgruntled because who they was. It's who you was, my nigga. I ain't never have to worry about none of that shit. Niggas come to me. Yo, homie, you got something I could... So, I got you. Don't worry about it. What's up? That's the, that's, that's the nigga I am. What's up? You trying to get on? If you play yourself, you play yourself. That's on you. But I ain't never tripping, nigga, because I'm going to always have it. When I go to jail, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it, bro. So I'm, I'm, I don't got to hate a bone in my body, bro. So salute the food banger, bro. Salute salute to all the homies, bro. You trying to do something, and you if you holding this shit down, and you, you believe in this shit, whatever you believe in, nigga, stand on it, man. This shit is the army. It's just, it's just all over the place. You know what I'm saying? And then when niggas try to really put it together, you got you got the power struggle. You got niggas that see you and see you got potential and they do some live brim type shit to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, bro. Like, you know what I mean? But niggas had good intentions, bro. Everybody wasn't on no fucked up shit. And like I said, I seen Cardi and them do good in the hood. I seen Star do Star was all the way up to like this summer. She and Gersh Park doing 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 basketball games. Like, come on, bro, like that shit is not no regular shit, bro. And for a chick like her, she had beef like with niggas and niggas is talking all this. She outside, though. Nobody not doing nothing. Nobody's not doing nothing. Period. So niggas could talk okay. all that. Because you guys end up walking in a hallway in the mm -hmm. Barclays. And then suddenly, Casanova and his crew were walking down the same hallway. And from what I understand, Casanova was like 50 deep. Yeah, you, you, the video was out there. You saw the video? Yeah, I the, saw the video. <laughs> yeah, the video out there. <laughs> okay, so from your point of view, describe what happens. Because ultimately, you end up pleading to this whole thing, and it's all out there now. Uh -huh. Nah, basically, they was basically probably, I think they was trying to like, Holla at six nine, you know what I'm saying? It didn't really have nothing to do with us, cause most of us we know Casanova. We all from the hood. We all from the streets. You know what I'm saying? So I think basically that was like between Casanova and six nine. You know what I'm saying? That was between them. But we just was trying to stop the situation. But I, they was I don't know. I, but it went where it went. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened. Right. Cause as you guys were walking towards each other, there started to be some sort of shoving match. Right. Yeah. Now, we, we was basically telling them, chill, you know what I'm saying? We trying to walk Adrian Bonner to the ring. Nigg niggas ain't come there for none of this shit, you know what I'm saying? And Okay, so you're trying to actually de-escalate the situation. Yeah. But some of the guys... And listen, that's what usually happen with the homies, bro. When the homies and two sets me, it's going to always be a nigga that's trying to do too much, bro. Like, you feel me? It got to be some type of order. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like... See, Fu Benga really a G, bro, because whatever he did, nobody got hurt. Everybody still made it home that night. So he, he, that's, and that's another thing what being a gangster is about. It's not about crashing out. These young niggas think being a gangster is about crashing out. Being a gangster is about knowing exactly what to do in the moment because this shit go, this shit is milliseconds. All it takes is a millisecond for a nigga to lose their life or to get shot or shit to pop off. Shit happens fast, bro. Shit happens in 30 seconds. A whole fight in the broad done already happened. The niggas done got bounced out of the club less than a minute. So you got to be able to think fast and quick on your toes and you got to not hesitate and you got to be, you got to be on it, bro. That's what make you a G. That's what make you a gangster. That's what make you, you understand? You got to you gotta know how to balance this shit. Crashing out don't make you a gangster. Crashing out just make you a crash dummy. I'm going to keep it a band with you, bro. Going back and forth to jail for, for stupid shit. And he made an executive decision. He trying, to, he trying to save the bag, protect the homies, protect Cass too. He wasn't even trying to hurt Cass. Niggas could have popped Cass. Could have pulled the tag stone on Cass. He was mad close to, to Cass with that hammer. Like, come on, bro. Like, let's get real here, bro. It'd be too much. Too much. Too much, bro. I'm tired of it, bro. Cast another side. Cut, we're trying cut. Here. Let's nah. cut the cap. 
Is it because there are more of them than you guys that night? I don't know what they was on. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't see, as you see, we didn't come there to fight. So we came there to have a good time. And you see, and that's another thing. You never know what niggas is on. But usually, if you blood and you from NY, you know what niggas is on, man. You know what niggas is on, bro. So it's like that. And, the, and you got to still keep calm with knowing that. Sometimes niggas get too nervous. And then they make a situation happen that should have never happened. I'll give you an example. The Philly nigga, Fat Cheese. He was nervous. His nervousness got him killed. You outside with your hand in your pocket. What are you doing? For all that, you should have just came out your house blicking. Should have came out your house flocking, bro. What are you doing all of that for? Hand in the pocket. You could tell he wasn't really ready to do that. Like, he didn't, he didn't. He, you just trying to you just trying to be on defense, but niggas is on demon time. You can't be on defense with niggas on demon time. That's on offense. It's not gonna work, bro. So this this is this is things that you can't fake in the streets. That's why it's like you either been been in the streets. You can tell when a nigga been in the streets and when a nigga not. I see a lot of little homies out here. I be telling this like, y'all niggas not blood material, bro. K Flock and them little niggas was they was everything material. I watched them grow up, bro. I knew it. I was scared for other niggas. Even the I, they ops, 800 niggas, them little niggas is built too. I don't know RPT. I don't know. I don't know a lot of little niggas in court. And I know, I knew love. I knew love. I, I was around Shai K a couple times. But I don't know. Niggas, niggas from, I know the eight and niggas from my, my hood niggas is going back and forth for a long time, bro. Both of them little niggas is on it. Little niggas in the raid, little crip niggas down there, they on it, bro. So you could tell I've been around little niggas that's on it, and I've been around little niggas that's pretending. And I knew niggas is not going, I knew niggas wasn't going to make it in this shit, bro. You know who going to make it, who not going to make it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, niggas be hard, and niggas get shot a couple times, get cut a couple times, and niggas not hard no more, bro. This shit just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But food talking real shit, this is one of the best interviews I heard in a minute, bro. Then. Adrian Barna came there to fight. We didn't come there to fight. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, the situation escalated. And according to what you pled guilty to, mm. you, you ended up pulling out a gun. Yeah, unfortunately. Nah, I stand okay. on it, fool. And what'd you do next? You did what you had to do. It's all on tape, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever they, right. whatever, whatever they say happened, I guess that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's a gangster. We not we not saying what happened. We let y'all niggas, we let y'all YouTube niggas make the stories up. We let whatever y'all seen or whatever is in the paper, that's what it is, my nigga. Don't ask me nothing, bro. These niggas, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta these niggas be talking about the young niggas. Oh, the young niggas is snitching, but you got a generation of old niggas reading cases, reading this, reading that, going to court dates, like what? What happened, happened, my nigga. I got shot. That's it. That's it, my nigga. You feel me? What I tell you, that's what it is. If not, then you, you you figure it out for yourself. But you shouldn't even be worried about none of that. And you see how you see how that is like saying whatever for allegedly what you copped out for because he copped out to it already. You feel me? But food still on his gangster mentality because he's a gangster. We don't talk like that. So when you be seeing all of these niggas talk about what they doing and all of that, real gangsters don't talk like that, bro. That's niggas that want you to know what they is. Niggas, if you out here, you out here. Niggas, niggas, if you know, you know, bro. You know, you know. That's it. Like, niggas be doing too much, bro. It should be too clustered. Flooded with all right. You end up shooting the gun in the air you didn't actually shoot it at anybody no 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 it got shot in the air and then everyone ducked and then people started running yeah why'd you feel at that moment that was your only choice first of all they, they was getting too close you know what i'm saying i was trying to tell them back up but they wouldn't they, they wasn't they wasn't trying to back up and then nobody we know cast so nobody wasn't trying to shoot cast or nothing like that you know what i'm feel saying me? But, we just trying to tell them back the fuck up. Niggas ain't on you niggas ain't on that. You know what I'm saying? But did you feel that they are possibly armed as well and it could turn into a really bad situation? No, I wasn't thinking about none of that. I ain't it, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? And that's the decisions that you gotta make, bro. I ain't even gonna go no further with this. I'm already half an hour some change in. I ain't gonna go no further with it. This is the this is the difference. Any little niggas watching this video right now, this is the difference between a gangster, a crash out, and a big mouth ass nigga, bro. 
Because you got a lot of these old niggas that got just big mouths. They just talk all fucking day, bro. This is the difference, little niggas. This little, this nigga right here is a gangster. He shot in the air. He wasn't on that with Cavs. You feel me? But he made it the executive decision. Now, it could have went wrong. They could have backed it out. And it could have been crazy right there. But it wasn't. But you know why I didn't go like that? Because he didn't hesitate. He didn't hesitate like Fat Cheese hesitated going out there scared. He was standing. He was firm on his word. And he told that niggas, we didn't come out here for that. Now, I already know what's up with Cass. Cass got shot at, at, another, at another one of his video shoots. You know what I'm saying? When niggas are shooting off the roof, whatever, whatever. So Cass had a chip on his shoulder. You feel me? He already felt like niggas got it off on him. You know what I mean? But that's the that's the Billy niggas for you, bro. The Billy, like I said, the Billy niggas in Brooklyn is different, bro. You know what I mean? But let me get off this, my nigga. Let me let me do what I gotta do. I just the, I see that that interview. I had to. I had to. I'm I'm only I'm only I'm only talk about real right shit. I'm only I'm only commenting on real rights and real right shit, bro. All of these no name brand niggas coming out of nowhere. Claiming who they is, I don't, I don't know these niggas. A thousand niggas could be out here claiming who, whoever they is. If you got a name, you got a name for a reason, bro. You feel me? So salute to the homies. Salute to all the homies still out there. Salute to all the Mac Ballers and the clubs doing their thing. Kimi Baller, all of these niggas. Um, Uggavel, I don't know them niggas. I know they be with Jim. I don't care. Salute to them niggas. Neff, shout out to Neff. You feel me? Shout out to Trendy Twins, my brother High Skrilla. When I say Highs, Skrilla Highs, the Trendy. You feel me? 183rd gang, nigga. Motherfucking um hot boy. You feel me? Um Zip. All his people's in Queens, you know what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> everybody, all the real right niggas, bro. All the real right niggas, bro. You feel me? All the niggas that wasn't grimy, gritty, sleazy, dust dusty niggas trying to claim a fame now. Like a lot of niggas, I don't even know a lot of these niggas, bro. You feel me? But shooter shooter ninety three. I came up on the shoot. I came up on the Rod Diggs. You feel me? These is all real right niggas. Like, I, I don't got to speak to niggas for, for mad years. The energy and the love is still always the same. All these extra niggas that came and infiltrated, nigga, I'll forever stand on. I'll forever stand on the gym is not blood to me. Gym is not nothing to me. I stand on it. I don't care how many real right niggas he is. He around. He's he's not that. You feel me? I stick to the. I stick to what I know and what's real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Cardi. Shout out to Star. You know what I mean? Everybody that put on. You know what I'm saying? Not even taking nothing away from Jim. He put on for non trade and all of that, but he ain't that, bro. You feel what I'm saying? He wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't putting on for this shit. That shit came through rap. He ain't no different than Takashi. He's just older and been around different type of niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean, salute to all the real right homies, bro. All the homies that put on. A lot of the old niggas, I don't know a lot of these niggas, but free free the pistol, free the big pistol. You know the vibes with that shit. Even free that nigga La Brim. Free that nigga too. But one thing I can say about La, I don't like him, but I respect him and the nigga was official. You understand what I'm saying? It's just that his ways ain't, ain't my ways. You feel what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I respect La. You know what I mean? So free that nigga too. Free L.O. Free Eli Brim. Free, free all them niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you should want everybody to be home. Even the ops, nigga. We handle shit in the street. We don't do the jail shit, nigga. We off this.